What's going on guys, it's Joe here and welcome back to episode 2 of this Barrows Bummer series. Can our luck continue on from last week or will Jagex try to slow down my pretty impressive start? There's only one way to find out, first to the intro. Right, 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 before we get started, I am not happy. Look at the What a mess. What a fucking... Why aren't these items on the wiki? I've had to improvise and use the armor that looks most like Linz's equipment. Yep, Bandos it is. Not happy, not happy at all. And the mirror shield, just to take the complete piss and make things worse. What a sick joke. But it will have to do because so many of you were in favour of Accuracy and Linzer being added to this series. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Before I started doing any chess this episode, I tried to quest. And this is a prime example of why I hate questing. Ritual of the Majorat is a must for Accuracy. So I set out to do exactly that, obviously. One of the pre-quests, rocking out, simple enough. Yep, yeah, let's crack on with that. Oh wait, that has three pre-quests. Let's try one of those. Um, the Great Brain Robbery, that sounds simple. Oh shit, that also has three pre-quests. Um, cabin fee oh for fuck's sake, that also has two pre-quests. Rum deal, pre-quests. Finally, Zerga Fleshy is a quest I could do, which did have two pre-quests, believe it or not, but I'd actually done them. <sighs> this is literally like getting curse sprays all over again. Questcape, here we come. The funny thing is, is I actually plan to do one quest per video, but oh my god, I literally have 20 to 30 quests to do, so it's going to have to be two to three quests minimum, or I'm never going to unlock accuracy. This time round, I did just complete the two quests. I did, however, smash off another 50 chests for you guys, so let's get on straight in to this week's chests. Like the idiot I am, I forgot one key piece of information, and that is where we left things last episode. This is what our Barrow's Bumming progress looks like so far for anyone who may not know. But yeah, let's get on with this shit. Die, rat, die. First chest of episode number two. Let's carry on how we left off because last episode's look was just insane. <laughs> and we haven't. 47k, not a bad chest. Quite a lot of things. Ah, I knew there was something I was forgetting. In the comments from last episode, a lot of you told me to kill eight dungeon creatures, and that's exactly what I'm going to do for the remaining chess. Will it make a difference? I don't know, let's find out. Momente of truth, eh? Let's see what the runes are saying. Ooh, not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, killing these creatures definitely seems to have brought the average loot value up. Like, I haven't had, like, one of them annoying 14 k chests yet. Come on in, Derek, you motherfucker. You motherfucker, you sure mess with me. What? That is the gayest thing I've ever done. Anyway, chest number eight. Still nothing. One thing I have noticed is, holy shit, last episode we got two potions. I've started killing creatures. We have two, four, six, seven. Yep, I just counted to seven. <laughs> In eight chests, uh, the potion. Holy shit, I'm thick. There's two there that I missed. Eight, nine potions. In eight chests, uh, that is definitely affected by the creature slain. Chest number nine. Bit of a dry spell. Not enjoying this. Not enjoying this at all. And it continues. 30k. Chest number 17. Yes! Finally, Aaron's hood. 
Not too impressive, but oh my god, what a dry spell. Killing limbs of these chests really do take quite a while, pretty painful, and we're finally being rewarded. Now I knew I had forgot something. Someone asked me to stick a Dragon Defender in my inventory to see how many sigils I could get. I completely forgot, but I will be bringing it for the remainder of this episode. A little late, but it will be present in the future, I promise. Chest number 25, then the halfway mark. Um, what the fuck is that? <laughs> okay, so that is the sigil. Genuinely thought I had an item then, and should I be happy? Is that good? I don't know, we got that way, way quicker than I expected. A champion, champion scroll? Really? Really? Now, I've never used one of these. I got one from some imps a long time ago. Apparently, they are super, super, super rare. But, yeah, not too interested in it, to be honest. Unless it brings me some good luck. A few moments later. <laughs> Was that like the world's luckiest Barrows run? A champion scroll, and then from the same chest, we get the Verax Helm. Thank you very much. Another sigil? No way. I'm guessing these things aren't really that rare. I thought I'd gotten lucky getting the first one just a couple of kills after I brought the defender. But yeah, getting another one kind of takes the sting out of it. Makes me feel perhaps they aren't too rare. Chest 37. No way, another Carol's Crawford and a sigil. Oh wait, no, that's the offhand. That makes me feel way better because it isn't a duplicate. I haven't even made a slot for that, in fact, on the progress page. Gonna have to look into doing that. But yes, an offhand Carol's crossbow. Didn't expect that. Verac flail! Ticking off those weapons today, the drops are coming in thick and fast in this second half of the video as well, thank god, I thought it was going to be a dry one. <laughs> We're the next chest, that is back to backs again, Torag's chest plate, our most valuable item this episode as well, chest number 44, can we get another item and match last week's episode? Chest number 50 then, last chest, nothing. One less item than last week, no duplicates though, which is awesome. 11 items now in total, which leaves our Barrow's progress page looking like this. The duplicate Carol's crossbow is because I don't have room to add the offhand and I really don't want to mess up this page. Plus, it looks identical anyway. We know now that we have gotten both, so it doesn't really matter either. So any more of either of them will just be stacked up from now on. Another thing that I just want to go over, like I said earlier, I did kill eight creatures for, I'd say, 95% of the chests, unless I forgot to kill them. What is my inventory saying at the end of these 50 chests compared to last week's episode? So... We have one less Barrows item, that is not affected by creature kills, so that basically means nothing. We got literally 20 less Bolt Racks, so nothing too major there. Barrows Totems, again, nothing in them, we got 7 more this week. But on to the runes, which is apparently where the effect takes place. Blood runes, we did indeed get more, over 500 more as well, which is quite a considerable amount. However, what is a considerable amount is how many fewer death runes we actually got this week. A drop of around 1,500, so I literally have no idea what's gone off there. Chaos runes, we got more this time round, and mine runes, again, more this time round, about 500 for both of those. So yeah, the creature kills, I want to say, do increase rune drops, but God only knows what happened to the death runes. The moment we've all been waiting for though, if we total up the 100 chests, the loot is looking very juicy. 11 Barrows items in total, 2,507 bolt racks, 
almost 100 Barath Totems. The Crystal Triskelion Key Fragments haven't changed, just the one of those. The runes, what an increase this is. Blood runes, we now have a total of 3,369. Death runes getting ever closer to that 10k mark. We've got 7,136 of those. Chaos runes even closer, 9,577. And over 20,000 mine runes, 22,804. But that is all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it entertaining. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.